Oh, hey, it's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. And, well, it's time to make fun of our favorite president, Joe Biden. Luckily, I'm one of the few comedians who's willing to make fun of Biden. He's off limits for Kimmel, Trevor Noah, Jimmy Fallon, Ellen. So, this is the only place you can come for this kind of information. And by the way, Biden is a never-ending fountain of humor. So, let's begin. <laughs> In case you missed it, Joe Biden was inaugurated last week. Don't worry, he didn't know either. The big surprise wasn't just the low viewership, but that he had 7,000 likes for the whole inauguration on the YouTube stream and 37,000 dislikes. Wow. But don't worry, big tech cleaned the whole thing up for Joe Biden. YouTube removed the dislikes and labeled them as spam. So if you dislike my video, you're a critic. But if you dislike Joe Biden, you're a spammer. Now let's just take a moment to laugh at how few dislikes and likes that is total. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the most famous candidate of all time, and even I can get up to 100,000 likes per video. <laughs> In fact, give this video a like just to beat Biden's record. The Capitol building was locked down prior to the inauguration to cover for the fact that nobody was gonna be attending anyway. They went ahead and used the pandemic as the excuse as to why nobody would attend the inauguration. But let's be honest, if they would have allowed you to burn down a Target, rob a Gucci store, or steal some tennis shoes from Foot Locker, it would have been packed. The American people are not that stupid. We know what a movement looks like. This is what a movement looks like with Obama, or this with Trump or even this with Justin Bieber. But this is not a movement. They went ahead and put 200,000 flags in the dirt to symbolize all the people that wish they could have been at Biden's inauguration. I think it symbolizes the people who voted for him. The other reason it was hard to stage a realistic looking inauguration is because you couldn't pull up brand new Jeep Wranglers onto the Capitol steps. It's just not easy to do. Unlike his other rallies, this one was gonna have to be Jeep Wrangler free. I tend to know a thing or two about staged productions. It's kind of what I do. And as I predicted in my last video, it didn't take mainstream media long to proclaim this the most watched inauguration of all time. In other words, don't believe your lying eyes. Listen to us. We're the experts. And now let's get into the inaugural address itself. Joe Biden was able to bumble, mumble, and fumble his way through almost 22 minutes of straight talking. And let's put another myth to rest while we're here. Joe Biden does not have a childhood stutter that's come back to haunt him. The idea of a childhood stutter is a media-driven narrative, an alibi to cover for the fact that he has early onset dementia, memory loss, and he loses his place whenever he talks. Now, if you're gonna make up the lie that he's still suffering from a childhood stutter, at least let him know so he's in on it. And sometimes what is characterized as a memory lapse is indeed a stutter. Mr. Vice President, do you feel that? I don't think of myself as continuing to stutter. The mistakes I make are mistakes, and some people th think I still stutter. I don't think of myself that way. I have footage of this man speaking perfectly clearly like smooth jazz in the 80s, 90s, and even today. The most significant federal effort to deal with violent crime in America that has ever been undertaken. You don't call a redistribution in my neighborhood, Scranton, Claymont, Wilmington, the places I grew up. We must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue, rural versus Ireland. Or, or rural versus urban. So if anyone ever brings up the childhood stutter hoax, just show them these clips back to back. And in a latest scandal, mainstream media is now claiming that Joe Biden's inauguration sign language interpreter is actually a far right wing extremist. Where do they come up with this stuff? Now, at first I thought, oh, here we go again, until I saw some rare footage of the sign language interpreter. They might be onto something. Judge for yourself. To you. I will be a president for all Americans, all Americans. And I promise you, I will fight as hard for those who did not support me as for those who did. Immediately following his very short inaugural address, Biden then left his own inauguration early to get back and quickly sign as many executive orders as he could before he dies. Now let's think back. When Donald Trump went and signed four executive orders in his first week in office, he was called a Hitler fascist dictator Hitler, which is a double down on the Hitler thing. But now we see Biden has signed over 30 executive orders in three days. Surprisingly, not being called a racist Hitler, Nazi fascist dictator Hitler. More curious is footage of Biden asking, what am I signing? 
which you can hear mumbled under the mask. As Biden signed executive order after executive order, it was hard to tell if there was anything even printed on the pages he was signing, but that's okay. Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi can fill that in later. Biden was a signing machine. And if you look closely, you could see the puppet strings working his arms. Where am I? And now here's a video of political dynamo Joe Biden trying to figure out how to put a pen in his pocket. It's hard when someone else is working those strings. Come on, you got it. Come on, you can do it. There it is. Oh, nope, never mind. He's first. Can we talk about the leader of the free world wearing a mask in his own office? Biden isn't the easiest guy in the world to understand on a good day. Now you're putting a diaper on his face. Equity, equality as it relates to how we treat people and health care and other things. That you can, we'll give you copies of these executive orders. You'd think they'd let him speak as clearly as he could and the rest of the media could stay eight feet away and cover their face but not so. It's just a bad look for a leader. This is where we started, okay? This isn't exactly the safest place on the canoe, but that's where a leader stands. Front, center, and stoic in the face of danger. George Washington wasn't hiding in the back saying, this is the safest place on the boat. So we go from this great leader to this guy. Good work, 2021. Now, we all know that Biden does not stutter, but he does have a problem with math. Watch him try to add 100 million doses of Pfizer vaccine and 100 million doses of Moderna vaccine. This should be good. And we believe that we'll soon be able to confirm the purchase of an additional 100 million doses for each of the two FDA-authorized vaccines, Pfizer and Moderna. That's 100 million more doses of Pfizer and 100 million more doses of Moderna. The purchase of an additional 100 million doses, and some of it will come as early, begin to come in early summer, but by the mid, by the mid summer, that this vaccine will be there. And the order, and, and, and that increases the total vaccine order in the United States by 50%, from 400 million order to 600 million. This is enough vaccine to fully vaccinate 300 Americans by end of the summer, the beginning of the, of the fall. But we want to make, look, that's, I want to repeat, it'll be enough to fully vaccinate 300 Americans to beat this pandemic, 300 million Americans. Now, if all of this is news to you and you didn't see any of it, it's because I, a comedian, am a better journalist than anyone on CNN and MSNBC today. I don't know why that's happening. You be the judge. I'm not fond of it myself. I'd prefer to write jokes about dating, but here we are. The only good thing about Joe Biden winning office is my fan base has now tripled. Pointing out how dumb this man is is gonna be very lucrative for me up until the point where Kamala Harris kills him. Then I'm out of material for a little while. And that is a warning to you, Joe Biden. I wouldn't eat anything she gives you. Feed it to your German shepherd first. See if he's okay. <laughs> So that's my official breakdown of the inauguration. Like it? Don't like it? Feel free to argue about it in the comments below. And don't forget to call each other Nazi, racist, Hitler, Islamophobic, homophobic, dictators, all those and more which come to us from the official How to Debate Like a Leftist playbook. And if you're new to my videos, there are three ways you can support. First, you can become a monthly Patreon subscriber. That's under KVON Comedy. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, that's easy. Go to GoFundMe.com slash TanksGod. And if you do, I'll say, Tanks God, you donated. And finally, a very easy way is just click subscribe. Or it's there, could be there. Wherever the subscribe button is, just push it. Do it now or you're a Nazi, Hitler, racist, fascist, dictator.